YouTube. How are you guys today? Well, I want to show you a lamp I'm kind of working on. And I want to show you how I can use it on a battery with different style light bulbs. Now, remember, some light bulbs may work and some light bulbs may not work. Well, let's go ahead and turn the camera around and show you what I mean. Well, here is the lamp I've been working on. And yes, and on that side is mercury light bulbs or CFL bulbs. And here's the old fashioned Edison light bulbs. Well, I need to set this all up for you guys and show you what I mean. Well, it's not that, not that hard to do. All you need is a inverter, a battery, a 12 volt battery. All I'm going to do is plug this in. Turn it on hand again. Sometimes this doesn't always work for me. Well, hold on guys, I'm going to set you guys down. Just one second, guys. Trying to do it. Trying to do the things on hand here. Does it always seem to work for me? Well, this is my battery bank. No, well, not battery bank, but my flashlight. But a 12 volt battery inside of it. And I'm going to vote in DC to AC. To try to power this lamp. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and plug the AC cord in to the converter oil. Again, hold on, guys. I'm going to set you guys now and again to plug my cord in. Okay, now it's on. Now, if I attempt to turn, try to turn this guy on, that's nah, not gonna work. Watch this. Now, about oh, nothing, guys. I have pulled too much power to try to power those uh, light bulbs, though, guys. But, let's set the camera down, and I got to plug in my power source again, guys. Beep. That's what it says to me. But when I, I take some of these lights out, without breaking any of them, and yes, and these are Edison light bulbs, again, I'm going to set these here, but when I take Cup all these lights out. It can power one of these lights. If you could figure if it will. Let's find out if it's going to power it or not. And the answer is eh, there's one light bulb powered up for you guys. <laughs> well, <coughs> The reason why only one light bulb you can power with the inverter is you would pour too much power on it. Let's go ahead and take out the Edison light bulb here. Yes, and this is an Edison 60 watt light. Need to set these somewhere before they don't wear off or break or something. Let's go ahead and now. Uh, screw in the very small Sylvania fluorescent compact fluorescent CFL bulb and let's see if my Gavirtle can power all three of these smaller energy saving bulbs well, not every bulb is energy savings. Every bulb 
that works on a different circuit. The Edison bulb uses a lot more wattage because it's a 60 watt. But I already added most of the 60 watt light bulbs up. And let's see if my battery converter to AC to power those guys up. Let's see if it's going to work or not work. Let's find out, guys. And there you go, guys. It works just fine. See, the difference is the energy saving technology inside of those bulbs. You did not hear any beeps when I powered up all three of those with that light. Yes, and this is the lamp I am working on. I have a switch though, it's not quite active yet. And yes, and these are instant on lights. Uh, you don't need to warm up or anything, but let's go ahead and turn these on and shh. Safety power off again. Ta da! There you go, guys. These are uh, instant on lights, and they will warm up for a couple couple minutes and you should get brittle over, over time. Well, let's go ahead and power these off. But well, you know, I'm using a battery, a 12-volt battery, to a inverter to AC to power these fluorescent light bulbs. Normally, any type of AC devices, typically you should use AC only. But if you're in a emergency situation, this will be a good setup to use. All you need is a 12 volt battery, a converter, it has to be DC to AC to power those uh, AC uh, lamps up. And yes, and that is AC battery, guys. See AC? This is AC out. This is DC in. Goes into the girdle. And DC comes out. Uh, AC comes out. And you also have DC it comes out at all. That's if you were trying to power sign with AC. Okay? But, by the way, before I let you guys go, uh, you may not can may not can power your television with that girdle. You may have to get a big one. And yes, and this guy only has 10 amps inside it. That's the reason why it pulled too much um, power out. Uh, let's get my iPod and add up all those 60 watt light bulbs. And show you how much how much wattage are you pulling? Okay. 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 120. And 60 is 180 watts. And that's a lot of wattage trying to power those three Edison light bulbs. And by the way, guys, you can also power up one of these LED lights. Sweet. Well, I want to talk more about these bulbs in a non video. And I just showing you why why doesn't the three of the others and light bulbs work on uh, AC? Well, or not on AC, but on DC batteries. Well, your batteries are only DC only. And you don't have a strong enough current to power your 60 watt light bulbs. Like you do with the uh, 
small compact fluorescent lights. Alright guys, there you go, there was my setup for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, uh, comment below, leave a comment below if you guys like this video. Subscribe, my, subscribe to my channel above my head. Um, please like this video, give me about 500 likes on this video. Uh, please share this video if you guys want any more how to's or how I did all this setup for you guys. Well, I'll catch you guys later. Make another video. Peace. Bye, guys.